But the number of skunks in the Bay Area is on the rise. As KPIX 5's Emily Turner tells us, you can thank the wet winter for that. This end of the skunks is cute. It's the other side that's much less liked about the animals. But luckily for Sonia Bohannon, who's fostering these two, the babies rarely spray, which is important because the entire wild care staff and its volunteers have had to step up to the plate this year. It's kind of amazing. We're actually having a major boom of skunks this year. At, we're seeing it at wild care, but I suspect it's consistent all across the Bay Area. Spokesperson Allison Hermance says wild care usually gets 40 to 60 skunks a year. Already this year, they've passed that total with 75 and no sign of stopping. She's fostering five. And with that many skunks marooned or orphaned, everyone plays a part in helping raise them. I have them old enough so that apparently they can spray, but that hasn't happened yet. And they, I, they don't know me per se, but they understand the routine. So they know that when I'm coming and I open up their cage, they're used to that, associating that habit with eating. Wildcare thinks the spike was caused by the wet winter we had, which made skunks' food sources thrive. Bugs, slugs, and rodents all fall into that category. So while the species is infamous for their one odorous defense mechanism, wild care says they actually make great neighbors. The things that dig through your lawn, the things that eat your flowers, right? Your skunk friend is eating all of those things. He's also eating the rats and the mice that run through your yard. So if you have a skunk in your yard or in your neighborhood, he's actually doing a really, really, really good service for you. But when they're rescued this young, they start out on formula and get fed every three hours, then move to real food once they're about this size. Eventually, wild care teaches them to forage before reintroducing them to the wild. So while the babies are cute, remember, they ultimately are wild animals. So if you find baby skunks, you're more than welcome to bring them here to wild care. In San Rafael, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.